My next guest is Andres Gutierrez from Citizenship and Residence by Investment Consultants, CS Global Partners. He joins me to discuss the growth in the industry, what makes a good citizenship by investment program, and which country offers the best. What does the investment immigration industry encompass? Investment immigration encompasses the legal processes of uh, either acquiring a residence or a citizenship, either by making a contribution to a government fund or an investment into real estate. The global existence of the investment immigration mar market goes back to 30 years. It started with the Canada Residence Program in 1986, and then that has led to the St. Kitts program in 1982, then the Dominica program. These programs enabling different applicants further traveling on their side and uh, business opportunities, as well as uh, driving foreign investment into these countries. There is a public perception that these golden visa programs or golden passport programs are you pay your money and you get your citizenship, but it's more complicated than that. Yes, indeed, it's more complicated than that. There is uh, a very strong due diligence uh, process after the application. It is uh, it is submitted to each particular country, and that due diligence part of each particular application it is the key of the entire investor immigration market. It is so important because most citizenship by investment programs does not require the applicant to have a residence in the country or to visit the country itself. So a very thorough, a very complete due diligence uh, process is done in order to ensure that the applicant basically is who he or she really says. And that serves first to protect the investment of all the applicants because at the end of the day, what the government wants, what the countries want, is entrepreneurs, business people of high moral standards that they are endorsed with this passport. And at the same time, it is a measure of protecting their programs and the investor immigration market as a whole. What else makes a good citizenship by investment program? There are many different factors. The CBA index published by the Financial Times has mentioned, for example, affordability, timeliness to citizenship, ease of processing, residence requirement, the longevity as well. The program that has been running for a very long time, that has been operating for a very long time, that ensures that improvements have been made to that process, that fine-tuning to operations have been made as well, and it is a warranty at the end of the day. So yeah, I think that in those are the key things, uh, and just to mention as well, the Commonwealth of Dominica Citizenship by Investment Program was ranked first on the CBI index of the Financial Times. So would you say that's the best? The best program, it depends on each particular applicant. Um, they are, the Dominica program was ranked number one in the CBI index. However, perhaps it is not aligned with the interest of an applicant because perhaps wants to live in Europe for saying something. Perhaps it is not interested in Dominica. So we focus our attention on understanding what the client needs because a person that uh, wants ease of uh, doing business globally perhaps will tend to go for a Caribbean citizenship while a person that, let's say, has two or three kids, wants to live in the UK or in Europe, perhaps it is looking at a European CBI program like Cyprus. So as advisors, it is understanding the needs of the client and where does he want to go. Thanks for watching. Click through for more from Andres Gutierrez discussing the latest trends in the investor immigration industry and a typical investor profile. And please subscribe for the latest international business insights from worldfinance.com.